Okay, here we're told F is inversely proportional to J. So the first thing we write is F is proportional to 1 over J because that's what inversely proportional means. Now we'll get rid of the proportional sign and it means K multiplied by 1 over J. Substitute in what you know when F is 2, J is 3 times 1 over 3. Now it's probably makes more sense to write this as 2 equals k over 3 because now you can see to get rid of the divide by 3 you multiply both sides by 3 so that's going to tell you that k equals 6 now you substitute that value back into there and you've got f equals 6 multiplied by 1 over j and again I'd probably write that in this sort of format here I would write F equals 6 over J just because it's easier to manipulate it there if you have to now we're asked to find the value of J when F equals 5 so substitute in what you know 5 equals 6 over J so how do you get rid of a divide by J we're going to multiply both sides by J that's going to give us 5 J equals 6 now we need to get rid of this 5, so we're going to divide both sides by 5, which tells us j equals 6 divided by 5. And that would be perfectly acceptable to leave the answer like that, but I'm going to show you how you would cancel it down. 6 fifths is the same as 1 and 1 fifth, and 1 fifth as a decimal, you should know, is 0 0.2. So that would be the answer as a decimal.